ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> let me give a let me give a proper introduction of our special <laughs> guest. I'm trying to do better at this, man. And like every time I do this, I get think I'm bag. getting get better. In your and bag. Better. Let me get let me get in my bag real quick. I'm gonna do the the loud hand claps. None of y'all, uh, uh, <laughs> the loud brother, you claps. can't hear that, but our audience is hearing it right now. There's like a army behind this introduction right now. Like there's hundreds, it's, and it's angelic hundreds angels of hand claps, right? Now. <laughs> flapping their wings at once, ladies and, and gentlemen. Listen. President of Rapture Ready Productions North, Christian hip hop artist, minister, entrepreneur, also hosts his own live show. BRM is in the building. What's up, yo, brother, yo, man? Yo. What's going on, brother? Man, that was a great introduction. Appreciate y'all having me on, man. This, this is going to be fun. I've been watching y'all. I love what y'all are doing. Uh, let's go. I love it. Let's go. Dope, here. dope, Thanks, man. Appreciate I think you, it was bro. I think it was overdue, brother, to be honest, man. I, I've been seeing you do your thing for a minute, and you've been engaging back and forth with my no stuff. Doubt. And um, it's, it's almost like you came from me, at least. Like, I don't know if... Did you, like, just all of a sudden recently just started going hard like or because you just came on my radar and i was like yo this dude is literally everywhere right now like what did you make a shift to something or, or did you just decide yo i'm gonna go heavy like in this last few years man good uh yeah you know what a little bit of a little bit of everything there i guess um you know about six about seven to eight years ago uh basically i started a relationship with god and started doing christian hip-hop i'm um, mm -hmm. always done music um, but I didn't really start going hard till about four years ago. Um, it just, you know, just kind of felt like I found my sound a little bit. And, um, you know, sometimes that's what it takes for artists, I guess, is to kind of find your own sound. Um, and it took me a while. Um, I'm kind of an old dog, um, but uh, it, it took me a bit. And I kind of felt like I'm in something I'm pretty comfortable with right now. Mm. Uh, just made a lot of great relationships with different people, uh, with Jeremy over there at Rapture Ready Productions. and. Um, just started building relationships with people um, and just having fun with it. Um, I, really, for me, it's always been about just having fun with music. I mean, everything else is kind of spread from that. Uh, I get a chance to do ministry with people and uh, build actual relationships. So I, if, you, if you've seen me, I guess that's how it's kind of rolled out. Um, now, you know, now when you yeah. were building those relationships, was, was it in your mind like, I'm gonna build these relationships for a strategy, or was it in your mind like, <laughs> yo, I wanna, I wanna actually like, cause I, I see you building relationships, but brother, like, I can tell that the people that know you personally speak very highly of you. Yeah, no, appreciate that. Um, yeah, you know, you can't, you can't have a a a, a big relationship with a, everybody. You know, you 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 know, your circle usually should be probably kind of small with those people who you could go to and you trust and you, uh, you know. Uh, you know, could talk to and speak yeah. into each other's lives and that kind of stuff. Um, but man, I, I honestly really do try to reach out to people and, I and talk to people because really in, in my Christian walk, when, when I got saved in 2005, I didn't surround myself with no, nobody who was going to help me uh, with, the, with this walk. So, I mean, in my mm. last seven years, I've surrounded myself with people who are going to help me because I need it. I Yo, and to it. speak on that too, like a lot yeah. of people think it's, like it's something different than anything else like like oh you're gonna hang out with those christians all the time it's like dude if you're into fitness who do you hang out with right people who are right. into fitness like-minded individuals it's all about yeah. like-minded individuals like right. you know what i mean like if you want to be closer to god then you should be around people who are closer to god and therefore Absolutely. it'll build your habits you'll rub off on them and that's how you grow as an individual you know so that's no, that's no really dope a lot of people don't think that way no and you know it's crazy too because you know you're talking about trying to build relationships for strategy and stuff like that. I mean, any, any artist is out there trying to look for, you know, somebody to listen to their music. Mm, uh, mm. But, but while you build a relationship, it's amazing to people. Like I'm, I wasn't going out trying to speak into people's lives per se, uh, but the amazing people who have spoken to my life. And now I've had a chance to speak into different people's lives as I've kind of gone along this journey uh, is really what's been really honestly pretty cool. Um, my, my wife is always like, Man, you talk to a lot of people. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. You know, so yeah. I'm like, you know, it's you know, it's just crazy to get a chance to talk to all these different people sitting here chatting it up with you guys, watching the shows. And it's crazy. Now, let me it's crazy. let me ask you this. In your experience, since you've been out there and you know, you know, doing your thing, have you noticed that there's been a change like in comparison to when you were coming up and you had all these people like pouring into you? Like do you feel like it's changed for the better or for the worse, like for the everyday artist today? Like you still see that same kind of like, yo, I want to help this artist. 
Yeah. And you know what? It's kind of been funny because I've had people speak into, into my life as I've kind of gone along in this, you know, little, this journey or, or whatever you want to call it. But um, now I feel like I get a chance to talk to some of these, you know, it's funny because I think some people see me and say, oh, this dude look, maybe look a little older. Like he'd been around for a long time. <laughs> I've really only been around, you know, like you said, you've only noticed me the last maybe couple of years. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and, but I've actually embraced <laughs> it. Uh, I, some dope. of these younger, some of these younger cats, you know, yeah. or whatever, they hit you up and they, oh, yo, how you yeah. feel? Hey, Mariosco, how you do that live show, man? It looks so professional. Yeah, hey, how, it's how dope. How you doing that show? <laughs> how, how does that, how do you do that in the video? Like my videos ain't the greatest in the world, but they have questions because they don't know how to do it. Um, yeah. yeah. So you get to talk to them. And then obviously when you're talking about music stuff, then you get the ministry part in there too. And there's always, that always just ends up. That's the way God makes it happen. Uh, you know so. what? I, I actually have that as a question myself because I checked out your YouTube channel and I saw a lot of your videos, your lives that you're doing. And, and I saw you with your little ones, your family. Mm -hmm. And it made me think it was like, man, so how do you, how do you balance that between like your occupation uh, as an employee, as a minister as well, I kind of like lumped them up together, you know, yeah. any kind of passions or whatever, and your family as a, as a uh, husband and a father, like, how do you balance those? Yeah, uh, that's, that's always the question people ask. Uh, um, and and it, I think it's a work, a work in, uh, it's something you got to work on. Um, mm. I know when I, when I kind of first started kind of really pushing this, we, uh, you know, my, you know, our wives are always pretty good about letting us know how they feel. Um, and, uh, you know, mine was just kind of, Hey, we need to make sure we spend the time. And so I, I've really tried to put that, uh, into place, trying to spend time at home with the kids and mm. my wife. And, and then um, I see that you include them as well. So how, 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 in, how much yeah. involved are they with, with your ministry and your music? Yeah, You know, I, you know, recently I just kind of got my wife, uh, kind of involved in it. My son picked up rapping. That's cool. Oh, oh yeah, God. yeah, I seen the video. Oh, oh yeah. man, I yeah. oh, you should have gave me the heads up, man. I would have definitely played uh, that video, man. Uh, next yeah, time, it, next time we're gonna do it. Next time for sure. That's I fun. caught that too, and it caught me off surprise. Uh, he came down one day. I was I was literally in the lab writing something. He came down to the basement. Said, "Dad, listen to the song." I went upstairs and I was like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> I oh, said, so you didn't even so have an dope. idea that he was that's doing so that. Dope. I didn't even know he was writing it. I'm, like, I'm, I'm dead I love true. That. I had no clue he was writing it. Of course, when I went up there, I gave him a couple <laughs> tips and pointers or whatever. Yeah, yeah, uh, you got to show him the he, ropes, 80 man. 80% man wrote that thing, and I was just like, he wrote the hook. <laughs> I'm hyped. God's coming down. You know, he's already <laughs> got it. And, he, and, you know, he, he took some similarities from me, you know, you know, kind of stuff that I do. And I was just like, wow, he's actually, he's actually really listening to what I'm doing uh you know so that that was dope but yeah trying to get my wife involved in playing in concerts in the in the local community here with another uh lady in the church that is big in christian hip-hop that she likes to get involved in so i got my wife in there trying to do some of that stuff now so yeah we're just trying to get you know the more everybody feels involved the you know the more everybody's kind of game to you know do stuff together you know so yeah i've been learning i've been balance. learning the same thing myself bro at first it was like you know, you're trying to learn what you're doing. You don't know, yeah. like you just have this <laughs> desire to, to be, to create. And then, yeah. and then because you have a personal thing with it and you're learning it yourself, yep. you're not thinking of how can my wife or my family can be involved no. with it. You're just thinking yeah, of how do I master <laughs> this craft? <laughs> right. And then as you get older and you get comfortable with the skill and the, you understand how to do the lives mm. and how to do the music mm. and you understand all this stuff. You sort of, as a Christian, you sort of grow gracefully, man. And you, yeah. you kind of embrace the journey for the journey, the process, <laughs> not even Thanks. like, not even like I need to get my goal. No, now that, now the need to get my goal is like, yeah, I mean, that's long-term, yeah. but yeah. the process is fun. Yo, I'm enjoying dude. the journey. Yo, now that you say that, it's like, it kind of makes you think of like the elderly people. Like that's why they're so gracious. Mm. Mm, facts. They got so much wisdom. They've been through so much stuff facts. that mm. you come to them and you're like, yo, my marriage is failing and I lost my job. And, 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 and then my, my only person that was helping me out, kicked me out on the street. And they're always like, you know what, man, everything's going to be all right. You know what yeah. I mean? And I, you know, just, just yep. trust in the Lord. And they just so calm. And it's because they've been through so much. They probably been through yeah. what you went through and and then some facts yep. facts hey listen before facts. we continue on i just want to make sure that uh the people who get to share their their shout outs to you man we got go ye saying what's up hey. uh who else we got in here jeremy uh, jeremy duncan saying what's up too was good everybody's showing love 
Hey, um, and we're going to jump into uh, a music video, Cage 2. Do you want to just give us some background on this song before and a video before we share it? Yeah, for sure, man. Uh, so this is a sequel of a track uh, that I, was an original track was called Cage. Uh, that was just basically uh, just kind of feeling like I was trapped. Uh, you know, when I was kind of writing at that time, it was years ago. I was like, oh, man, should I just do Christian hip hop? Should I just kind of do a little bit of the world stuff? Should I? And I just kind of felt like the devil was trying to just keep me trying to keep me caged up. Keep, yeah. uh, but Cage 2 was like, I'm out. I'm free. I'm Fire. in this place now where it's fun. It's, you know, I'm enjoying the process. I don't care. You know, it's Christian hip hop. This is what I'm doing. So Cage 2, I'm free. Check it out. There you go. in the cage, man. Now I'm out, now I'm out, he came in with a key. I was in the cage, I was in the cage, man. Now I'm out, screaming loud, he went and set me free. Was undecisive, what should I be writing? God came and kicked that door down, I'm excited. Yo, you think I'm lying? Don't want you to buy it. Come and see it for yourself. I'm riding, smiling, free to go be me. Yeah, let me show you, ain't confused. Ain't afraid of what the devil say. Ha! So amused. See me laughing, crack a lock it. God gave me the stone, I'm snapping. Yeah, yeah, I know that line is played out. He made it at me just to come in. This my heartbeat. Listen, how I'm talking. Rapping like a marksman. God told me we marching. A 10 huh? Everybody get in line. We don't have to be constrained in chains on the cross. He died. Why we living in these walls? Don't you let him close you in Whispers in your ear, tell him no, 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 not again You ain't getting me, I ain't falling for it No way, go play, God told me you cannot stay I'm out the cage, I'm out I was in the cage, I was in the cage, man Now I'm out, now I'm out, he came in with a key I was in the cage, I was in the cage, man Now I'm out, screaming loud, he went and set me free Now that I am out, you won't catch me looking back Feeling like a free man Taking nobody's crap, only listening to the ones that matter. Blocking all the chitter chatter, stuck up in before. Now I'm in the after crash. It got me running faster, cause I got a purpose. Put you on to Jesus Christ. I'm a teacher, help you learn it. Here's a lesson. Repent of your sins, call them Lord. Confess with your mouth. You gon' follow and get it done. What he's doing in your life. Tell the whole world about it. That's just what I'm trying to do. Give you my him and me. Hope he's shining through. Can't believe the things he done. Man, brother, that's what's up, man. Fire video, man. Hit class for that. Okay. Brother, we back. We back. That's that gym music, so, bro. Mr. Yeah, for real, bro. That's, like, that's the, the music you put on when you really trying to get that, that weight up. Ah. <laughs> Fine. So listen, brother. Do you I rock to yourself when you work out? <laughs> <laughs> you put your own music. You know what? I'm gonna get hyped to my own. Yeah, yeah. He plays his own Spotify playlist. <laughs> He's like, you know what? I'm gonna get paid and work out at the same time. No. <laughs> I'm gonna get paid while point I zero work zero out. zero. What is it? I point zero zero point zero zero cents. <laughs> How about that? I just made point point zero zero. <laughs> That's not even a one. It's point zero 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 cents. I made a margin uh, of a penny. Yo, brother, I don't want to put you on the spot, but we do have something called the creative tip. I'm sure you're aware of it. Okay, yeah. um, and I'm just going to ask you something real simple. It's more, more of your personal takeaway that I think a lot of creatives can benefit from hearing everybody's cool. story, where they came from, what inspires them and whatnot. Um, if you had the opportunity to speak to yourself in the past, like just coming into Christian hip hop, what advice would you give yourself? Uh, the relationship uh, factor, like uh, make relationships with people. Don't don't sit here and try to do stuff by yourself. Mm. Um, that would be that would be my number one thing. I feel like make relationships. Um, don't try to do things just by yourself. Um, and like like for me, I just kind of felt like it was find find your sound, find your you know don't don't push it on people. Just find your sound, find what you're doing. Find your process, kind of fine tune it, put it out. And if people like it, they like it. If they don't, they don't. But just have fun. Uh, so many people, I think, they try to do this maybe for other reasons or whatever. Just have fun. Mm. <laughs> if you ain't having fun with it, good luck to you. Uh, and that you goes, that, and that's dope because that goes for anything, for any believer or any person, you know what I'm saying, that's looking into doing something that, that makes them happy. Like, you know, find your yeah. thing, 
do yeah. it well do it for the glory of god and yep. and just live you know what i'm Let saying stop worried down. about you know yeah what people think yeah i i totally agree just you know just let whatever spills from it spill out from it you know what i mean it's like Amen. If you, you got something you like to do you like to draw you like to you like to rap you like to make spoken poetry you like to paint just, it, don't worry about the money aspect and all that kind of stuff from it uh just put it out if people like it they like it and Yo. if you enjoy doing it you're just gonna enjoy doing it um, Thanks. So that's it. I think that's what weeds out the people that are truly called to do it and the people that are doing it with false motives mm -hmm. is that if you're truly called to do it, uh, you have no choice but to do it. <laughs> like, yeah. you know, yeah. you got the resources in front of you. Like I used to, I used to get upset sometimes. Like I'm just being transparent. Sometimes sure. I used to be like, God, yeah. why are you throwing this, this, this dessert in front of me and i can't like i'm trying to make this yeah, scalable sustainable you know i'm trying to get out of my nine to five like why are you like should i be doing this should i not be doing this like it's that wrestle you know what i mean because we don't yeah, have a clear bro. path for it you know what i mean yeah, especially right. if you're a layman and you're not called to be a pastor or anything like that and it's difficult you know? to build anything from scratch oh anything is yeah. extremely difficult to build up so there's a lot of pain points that come with it. Like a lot of people just look at it as like, oh, you're just looking at it the limelight. You just want to be in front of people's faces. You just want the attention. Mm. It's like, yo, if you realize how much goes into this. <laughs> Facts, bro. If how you much think investment? that the only payment I want is just for people to look at me. Right, right. <laughs> Facts. After all the work, like writing. You know, yo, you'd be surprised. Some people tuning, just, some people just do this for them to look at him, though. Buying yeah, the beat. Well, yeah. but the thing you know? is, is like, it can't be. They may be lying to themselves and saying yeah, that that's all, all they yeah. want, uh, yeah. but they just haven't dug mm. deep enough. Mm. That's, I like that's that because, I, like, I yo, like there's that. no way that's too fickle. Like, that's too <laughs> weak of a reason to be like, I just want you to look at me, man. Like I do all this work, hours and hours of perfecting, and hours and hours of 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 doing this work. Mm. and just looking at me i'm good mm. man i'm good that's mm. my payment like no man you're doing this because there's got to be something internal whether the music is your therapy yeah whether it's to glorify god whether yep. it's a message you're standing Sense. behind there's yep. something you just got to dig deep enough and once you get to there that's when that magic really happens yeah, yeah that's I when think, you I think that's when right. that magic really happens thanks yep. Yep. Dope. Nice. Hey, brother, Um, you want to share any links or any updates? Now's the time to do so. You got an open platform to go ahead and promote, brother. This is this Bet. is all you now. Appreciate it. Uh, Yeah, man. You know, I got a track chopper Friday. Uh, You had made mention. Uh, I, I just came just started the, 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 the label to the branch out from Rapture Ready Productions. Mm. I'm running this Rapture Ready Productions uh, North with my man Kingsman J. Uh, Dope. He's there's got to be somehow we can collaborate on that, too. Right. Uh, oh. There's always a way. <laughs> there's, if there's a will, there's a there way. There you go. There you go. All right. Go ahead. Go yeah, ahead. You just, you just said the word. Collaborate. Let's, they, let's go. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, you Kingsman spoke it Jay. into existence. Bro. Yeah, you just spoke it. I talked to somebody earlier today. He said, man, we got to collaborate with you. One of my... You just Thanks. spoke it into existence. There we go. We're let's do it. 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 I'm down. Now we're doing it. it. There you go. You shouldn't have said nothing. <laughs> You're right. Uh, Kingsman J, uh, TC Boy, they're, they're two of the artists who, who, are, who are rocking with me with the RRP North. Uh, so we got a track on on friday featuring jamar spencer he kills the hook uh so y'all look out for that noise um and just look out uh, for some more tracks we're gonna have some uh eps some albums coming from some of the artists on rp north i'm gonna be dropping singles because i just love to drop singles i'll probably do an ep in the in the summertime uh but we're gonna be working Dope. me with rapture ready productions uh jeremy you mentioned he said yo what's up in there that's the ceo Fire productions. That's a shout out to Jeremy. Uh, man, there's just so many dudes, man. So many uh women and, and, and bros with the with the uh the two two companies combining, man. We just we ready to put some music out and uh make this a movement. So I love it, man. Hey, look and out. you real talk, man. You got us on your side, man. I love that. I love Appreciate the community. It. That's what we desire over here, man. Um so we're looking forward to what you're doing, uh, what your brothers are doing together, the mission and everything, man. Thanks, man. And uh, we Appreciate definitely got to get you back on the show sometime soon. Let's definitely, go. Bro. Right. All right, brother, man. Appreciate y'all. Love you, bro. Grace and peace. Take care, man. Peace. peace. Love y'all. Peace.